what can I pray for? I'm sorry, I don't think I heard you correctly. Could you repeat that? Oh, I did hear you correctly. You want me to pray whether you should divorce your husband. Okay, listen, just so I'll know what to pray for specifically, could you answer a few questions? Okay, is he cheating on you? No. Is he beating you? No. Is he degrading you or calling you names? No. Okay. What exactly is he doing that is causing you to want to divorce him? Nothing. Nothing. You, you just don't love him anymore. Okay, um, one more question. Are you seeing anybody else? You are. Yeah, yeah, I'm still here. Will I pray about it? No. No, no, no. I will not pray about it. Yes, this is prayer hotline. But the purpose of the prayer is to ask for God's will. Yeah. And the Bible has made it very clear what God's will is in this case. Adultery is wrong. Yes, I said adultery. Yes, to divorce your husband, to marry another man, is adultery. Hello? Hello? Prayer hotline, what can I pray for? Oh, you found some money. Congratulations. I'll pray a prayer of thanks to God for you. Oh, that's not why you called. Why did you call? The money you found doesn't belong to you. Then why did you call the prayer hotline? You want me to pray about keeping the money? Well, I suppose if you've tried real hard to find the owner of the money, you didn't. Why not? You know who the owner is? Then what do you want me to pray about? Whether you should keep the money. I'll tell you. I'll tell you right now. The answer is no. No, no, I don't have to pray about it. The answer is no. Yes, this is the prayer hotline, but the purpose of prayer is to ask for God's will. And the Bible has made it very clear what God's will is in this case. Theft is wrong. Yes, I said theft. Well, keeping a money that's not yours, that belongs to somebody else, is 